Last episode, y'all saw me throw that game when it held Mary and had everybody talking about it. That play right there really put me in discussion for the Heisman Award. And it's crazy how things work because that play was even on Sports Center. All right, let's do some good stuff here. It is the top 10 plays of the week. And at number 10, we have some college football. And this play is from Austin Cruz. And look at this Hail Mary pass for the game winning touchdown with four seconds left. This got to be one of the greatest passes I ever seen. I went to grab a bite to eat one day at the burger joint on the campus when I overheard some people talking about T. Only thing I really heard was, hey, did y'all hear that T. Johnson's coming back this weekend? And I ain't gonna lie, my heart dropped right there in that moment. Only thing I could think was, what's happening to my spot? I instantly got up to check Twitter to see if T posted something, and he did. Yeah, niggas, I'm back like cook crack. Man, I gotta go talk to Coach about this one, because this one don't seem right. But right before I was finna walk into school and talk to him, guess who walked up? He really ain't waste no time. I don't know if he thought I had something to do with him getting injured, which is crazy, but before you knew it, we just got to fighting. And we was going back and forth for a minute, but I eventually got the upper hand. It was eventually broken up by the same two dudes that gave me my props the other day, but luckily no one else saw it or we'd probably be suspended some games. And we both got bruises on our faces, so I don't know. We're going to have to hide it from coach or do something. We're going to just say we don't know what happened. Luckily, the bruises were gone by the end of the week, but I was sitting in my room when coach finally sent everyone to line up for the next game, and there it was. Me sitting right there at the quarterback spot starting. But I kept looking at the rest of the lineup, and guess what I saw? I saw T was on there, and he was starting too, but he wasn't at QB. He was in there as the slot receiver. Coach got to be playing with us or something, because why would he do that? I mean, man, but anyway, let's get to this game. Now, this might be a tough game, not going to lie to y'all, because it's like I got to throw the ball to potentially T when he out there. I don't even think I want to do that. And apparently team chemistry was down a lot. The morale was down a lot because they like, what's going on? We got people getting our spots took just so T can get in the starting lineup. They don't know what's going on out there. But me as a leader of this team, I got to pull us together and we got to still try to get this W because I think we only lost twice. So we don't want to come out here with a third loss. Our record currently is 5-2, and two, and we are not trying to make it 5-3. and three. But you see, I can't get nothing off because I don't know what's going on. The O-line, they not blocking or nothing. Like, I'm getting passes off. I finally throw it to T. Ain't gonna lie. I threw that right there to try to set him up. I tried to. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I tried to set him right through the middle so somebody can go right there and crack him. Hey, but my boy Braylon Allen must have heard about me talking about him last game. Because y'all see he did a juke move. He got him some, it got him an extra three yards just off that juke move. And that's what I be saying. If he do some type of moves, he'll get more yards. But look at this right here. I'm going for another screenplay. I ain't going to lie. We got saved with that one. That was a, so much of a busted play. I was supposed to get sacked right there. And when he caught the ball, he wasn't supposed to get no yards. So I'm thankful that we ended up did getting some yards. And I thought I was going to break through right here, but obviously I didn't. I don't know. I don't know if my, my head is not in the game. But you see, I'm still going to try to celebrate and get some type of celebration just so the team can get pumping. I got to show them that I'm not phased so that they can get in the game as well. But it's just not clicking. I don't know what's going on. I mean, we marching up the field with kind of a little bit of ease. Like, we still marching up the field, but it ain't like how I would like it. And this play right here, was it was a terrible pass, like I said. I mean, it's 39. We got to put some points on the board. I ain't going to lie, because I don't want to settle for a field goal. We got to score right here. 39, let's see what's popping right here. And they coming with a blitz right away, and I have nowhere to pass. And it looks like we're just going to have to kick the field goal. And let's see how we going to go. So the score is now 3-3. Three to three. Uh, We got the field goal, and they came in and got a field goal right here. But watch this pass right here. This is a terrible pass. I'm doing terrible so far. Three for seven with only 42 yards, and we coming into the second quarter already. But it's like, what can I do? Look at every time I hike the ball. They are right there. They doing QB contain or something. They just blitzing every go, but I can't even see the field out there. So it's third and 22. I'm just going to heave the ball up the field just to see what can happen. And obviously, the ball is going to go nowhere. Now it's fourth and 22, and now we're looking to punt the ball once again. So now Texas A&M scored. But before I finish, I want y'all to know Texas A&M record was, I think, 1-5, 1-6, one of them. But 
we can't lose to these boys. I don't, we we got to we got to come together. But it's just like when you're not clicking nowhere on the field, nothing goes your way. And I was second and 12. Like, we would never lose to a team like this. I'm telling y'all, the morale in the locker room is down because uh, my boy Bryson Green, he's not even playing this game just because coach gave that spot to T. The three receivers in this game is Chim Ray, Will, and T. No Bryson. And those last plays were nothing. So we ended up having to settle for the field goal once again, and we ended up making it. And now it's 10 to 6. And I ain't trying to brag, but it's like, when have y'all ever seen me not put points on the board before the first half? I have no points on the board. I can't get no good field, uh, can't get no field guidance out there. I can't even get no good blocks out there. I am out there. It's just probably one on 11 out there. Okay, that might have been forcing it, but still, y'all get what I'm saying. I can't get nothing out there. If the quarterback can't throw the ball right, and then we ain't got no run game, really. I mean, we got run game, but it just ain't working out either. And running this ball for probably over, I want to say, probably 70 yards a game is starting to take a toll on my body. I see each day, each game I have, I'm running slower and slower. So at this point, I got to stay in the pocket and try to get something on the in the air because I did tell coach the game before or the day before I, sh I mean that I was gonna have a good game throwing wise but hey it's starting to look like I'm not keeping up my end of the stick when I told coach that because I am having a terrible game passing right now let's see if I can make a good pass right here but you see every time I'm getting ready to throw the ball the defense is right there they touch me every time I throw the ball I mean, just look at that. Look, every time I throw the ball, somebody is right there to push me over. And that's starting to take a toll on my body. I, I can't be getting hit like that every possession. I don't know, though. It could be on my end for trying to scramble a lot. But even when I stay in the pocket, the same thing goes. You see, every time I throw the ball, they right there to get touched, too. So we call a timeout. And with six seconds left, we finally get in the end zone for the touchdown. Like I said, I need to score at least once. In the first half, I can't let it go out like that. So now that the game is tied, let's see if we can really put a move on it and get back to speed. So I'm going to hand the ball off to Brandon Allen. He's going to do another juke, and he I thought he was going. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I didn't see that man come out of nowhere and get him. But we marching up the field. With you. That was a good run. I should have ran the ball again, but this time I'm going to hit T right across the middle. And like I said before, I'm throwing the ball across the middle because I'm hoping the linebacker is going to be right there to knock his top off. And it's like people in the locker room, they sense the tension, but they don't know that it was a whole brawl that went on before that. They just think it's because he came back and now he's taking spots. It's more than that, but they'll never find out. But it's like some of the decision making that Braylon Allen makes is just so questionable. It's like, what are you doing, man? You can get way more yards if you just go another way. So at this point right here, I'm saying, let me throw the ball and get it one more time. And look. <laughs> I throw an interception. I, I'm having a terrible game. Luckily, I didn't have this game last week because last week was the game I really need to show the Nike reps why they should have stuck with me. But I ain't going to lie, I still should be having a bad game now. But that interception, I, it, sometimes you can't even help it. So coming off the interception, our defense only held them to a, a field goal, which is good. So now we have to come out here and score. But I'm not having that much of a terrible game. I mean, my stats are all right. But coming from me, they should be better. And it seems like the only thing I can do to get, make a good big impact on a game is to take the ball for the run. But that's on me. I should have actually got out of bounds. I was just complaining about how I'm getting hit every time and I still chose to take a hit. And this play right here was terrible. I should have I should have handed the ball off or they should let me still pitch the ball when I'm getting touched. I don't like that when you getting touched, like it's just over where you can't do nothing. They should still let me pitch the ball off. But I always bow to say I will never have more interceptions than I will. Touchdown. All right, now we starting to get some heat. Now we starting to heat up. That's another touchdown for the books. So they got another one off. It's 23 to 20 now. And look again. I just Maybe I just need to stop doing play action because at this point, ain't nothing working for me when I do play action. And honestly, to be honest with y'all, I ain't gonna lie. When I threw that right hook that put T down, that's my throwing arm too. So I'm really out here struggling. I know he out here struggling too, because I ain't gonna lie, he got me good too. I ain't gonna sit here and act like he was out here just dom I was out here just dominating him. Cause y'all saw in the beginning that boy slammed me right on my back. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm feeling that too this whole game. So imagine having a bad throwing arm and a messed up back. Your mobility and your throwing mobility is just terrible. But I mean, I'm still getting good passes off, but I know I could have been having a way better game if it wasn't for that. 
So now we got a chance to put some more points on the board right here. And I'm scanning the field. I'm running around. I see they coming for me. And I throw another interception. And you see, I just gave up on a play. Like, I just stopped running. And I don't know. This is one of my toughest games yet. And it's two minutes left in the game. Two and a half minutes left in the game to be exact. I got a lot of pass protection right there, surprisingly. So I'm going to hit that boy wide open in the middle. He's going to pick up a couple of yards. But, hey, time is not on our side right now. We got to put a move on it. Well, no, I'm still scanning the field. But look at that. Look, I had nowhere to go. Once I saw the first man come, I got scared, tried to run out of the pocket and scramble out of the pocket. And here come another man right off the block for the sack. Now it's a minute and a half left, second and 24 let's see what i can do so now i'm dropping all the way back and i'm gonna throw a heap of a pass and it was broken up and it's not looking too good it's third and 24. and i want y'all to see what i'm saying look look how he just missed his whole block on both sides and i had nowhere to go nothing to do in time and i was fourth and 24 and it's the last shot right here so with the last shot of the game a minute and 17 seconds left fourth and 24 i'm just trying to take a breather before i have to throw this nice hail mary like i did last game and i couldn't even get the pass off and pretty much all they're gonna do is kneel once they get the ball and hey that's the game fellas that game was a terrible game for both of us the defense handed down kind of but offensive wise this was a horrible game for us he got the game winning sack on me, and it's nothing I could do. Now we got to go back to the drawing boards. I ain't going to lie. I might tell Coach he need to put the lineup back to how it was because as soon as he put T in there, that's when everything just went downhill. Or he, gonna, he might. I bet he try to make us try to make it work, but I don't know, man. Check out these next videos that I got probably on this left side right here at the other series and some more videos. Until next time, y'all, I'll see you on the next video.